Often in my videos, you see me traveling the world, talking to locals and trying delicious food, and I do my best to showcase different sides of our wonderful planet. However, I've been receiving many messages claiming that I'm rich, have wealthy parents or rely on a sugar daddy to afford my extensive travels. And I feel offended because actually I have multiple jobs and I work almost every single day. And that's why I decided to record a new vlog to show you the real me and give you a glimpse into how I spend my days. I will also talk about my jobs, plans and hopes. So, let's go! Okay, honestly, I read down this video already quite a few times because I'm still so sleepy, so I need coffee and then I will be totally alive. But anyways, as you might already understood, in this video I'm gonna show you my daily life, what I do in between of my travel vlogs. Um, and actually it's so funny because I got so many messages on Instagram asking what do I do, uh, because you guys probably think that I'm just a blogger. What actually is not true, I'm not just a blogger, I'm far more than just it. And in this video I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take you with me for a few days in Barcelona, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna show... Blah! Anyways, you see it's gonna be an interesting video, you'll get a better idea of me and I can't redo really it anymore. But before we start, we need to do one thing before that. Why will some bloggers clean their apartment before recording the video? Let me show you a little bit of my reality. Yesterday I was cleaning. Why cleaning? Yesterday I was cooking three meals and I was super lazy to clean all of this, so we have to do it right now. Few moments later. And everything is cleaned. To be honest, I'm actually a very clean person, but uh, I hate cleaning dishes. It's the worst thing for me to do. But anyways, let's go and grab some breakfast. Sí. Um, y cosa con leche, corta de café. Uh, gracias. Here is my breakfast. Coffee with milk porridge and also toast with fouet. It's kind of local ham. Incredibly delicious. Then I watched one episode of TV series. I'm watching right now Rocky and I love it. And then it was time to start my work. First of all, I had a call with Sasha, a good friend of mine, who will help me to create some short videos. We were writing the strategy and I'm excited to start. In Spain, it's mandatory to separate all the garbage for recycling and I found this super amazing. Let me know if you do the same in your country. Then I sent a postcard to my parents to Russia and actually it's a big tradition of my family to do it. I recently ordered a wireless microphone from Amazon, but as you might already know, I make most of my videos on my iPhone and for using this microphone with iPhone, I need a special cable. And the wait time from Amazon, it was two months to get this cable. So I'm like, okay, it's not a problem. I'm gonna buy it in Barcelona and I can't find it here. Uh, I have one special like connector and it didn't work because I need an official one. I came to official reseller from the website and I showed them this virus mic, Raw 2, it's the most popular one. And they sold me one cable, it didn't work out. So now I'm trying to go again to this shop to buy uh, another cable and hopefully it's going to work. And when I came there, they had a lunch break. But that's okay, I happen to be next to a very famous tapas place. It's for the locals, not tourist place, so prices here are quite nice. And it looks quite atmospheric, so let's try some Spanish dishes. I ordered crajetas, this time with meat. The homemade, super good, I love it here. And also patatas bravas, one of the most popular Spanish dishes. Usually this sauce is spicy, but here it's not so spicy, so I like it here. The potatoes are delicious, but let me be honest, I don't see anything special in this. Yes, sauce may be quite unique, but it reminds me of similar sauces that I've been eating in Russia and Caucasus. After the lunch, I came back to the tech shop and the guy and I were trying to find the cable that we wore for around an hour, but fortunately we did it and I came to another shop to buy it, so let's test new microphone later.
I'm missing my baby boy like it and in general having a dog in my home in my life so much so I think soon I will just start asking some strangers to pet their dogs after the walk I work around four hours into Starbucks the place where I usually work and then I had some dinner and finished this day Honestly, I was thinking recently about one Russian dish and I found this in Spain, so I just couldn't help but go there and try it out. I really hope this is just a pet. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, after the gym I just went to a quick shower and right now it came to a cafe to try one of my most favorite Russian dishes, goat sirnik. And every time when I try to make videos, they start making noises. <laughs> Sereniki is a pancakes made out of the cottage cheese with some berries and also smetana on top. And these ones were not bad at all, I actually like it. Only thing here I can really feel the difference in cottage cheeses. I believe we have a little bit different one in Russian because it's soft but it's, it feels quite strong in terms of taste so I like when it's like softer. If you know what I mean, I hope I'm explaining correctly. But the rest is good, so I like smetana on top and some berries, so I actually approve it, but I would never buy for this amount of money in <laughs> in Russia. I've been trying to tell you about my job in the streets of Barcelona for so long, but it's so noisy because of reconstruction, so I wasn't able to do it. That's why, let's go to the park. So let me explain you now what I do in my daily work for the charity project. I'm a business development manager there, so I'm responsible for all the connections with universities, schools, some young organizations. I'm trying to make a collaboration with them, so they promote our charity and we also maybe create some projects together. Uh, on the same way, I'm looking for sponsorships from big companies and applying for different grants. I'm also actually writing articles for some magazines. Actually, a few articles of mine were already published, for example, one in the American magazine Childhood Education. Also, I'm writing to lots of bloggers and also famous people and trying to make a collaboration with them. This is so cute. <laughs> Anyways, the tasks that I mentioned to you are my casual tasks. And often I also test some interesting ideas. For example, last month I've been trying to make collaboration with different cinemas in Europe and Canada, in USA. And uh, yesterday there was an International Day of Children Protection and the advertisement of our project we on the Times Square in New York. Oh my God, all the team was so proud of it. We were super happy, it's such a big, I don't know, milestone for us and yeah, it was amazing and thank you so much for some of my subscribers who came to Times Square and recorded a video for me guys, I really appreciate this and on my team I'm very helpful for you. Yesterday, during such an important day, Russia attacked a Kiev and a kid died. And overall, so many kids died during such war and such a pointless war. Anyways, I decided to return back home after work to work a bit. And I just bought tickets to a Maroon 5 concert in Barcelona in two weeks, guys. I am so happy i don't know if i can express you my emotions but it's one of my most favorite groups that i've been listening since my early teenager years and i finally will be able to see them live because when you live in russia so 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 little bands were going to russia before the war and obviously right now no one so i can't wait to see them uh, and yeah all good tickets were already sold out months before so my seat gonna be pretty bad i suppose but it doesn't matter i will be able to hear them live so i'm incredibly happy then i continue working for the project and also edited a little bit the new video and after that, I decided to go for a walk around the city.
the more I live in Barcelona, the more I walk through these beautiful streets and talk to Spanish people trying this local food, I'm falling in love even more. And I get many questions from you uh, that about the place where I would like to reside, where I would like to finally settle down and move in. And from all the places that I've been to, I think Spain is the closest place I feel like calling home. I love Spanish culture, I love Spain, and I'm just in love with this country. And I don't know, I want to dream big. I would like to have an apartment or a house here in Madrid or Barcelona. The more I lived in Barcelona, I feel like it's going to, the, to be the place where I would like to have an apartment. And for now, this seems something unreal, to be honest, like buying an apartment there. I can't see myself living full time in Spain, but maybe, you know, uh, eight months in London, New York, like some English speaking place and then four months in Spain. It would be perfect for me. And I don't know, I want to officially say that it's my goal to buy an apartment in Spain, maybe in five years, in seven, I don't know, but I want to dream as huge as it's possible. So maybe in five years, I'm going to rewatch this video while I will be in my own apartment in Barcelona. Who knows? Uh, for now, this is just a dream, but you know, dreams are tend to become true. And I will do my best to achieve this goal. Uh, anyways, let's go to prepare to one event. Okay guys, and right now we are going to jazz concert. If you watched some of my videos for around a year ago, I mentioned that I love jazz. I just found it. My granddad even participated in a jazz band when he was younger. So I think this is genetic. And yeah, I haven't been in a jazz concert for a year already. So I can't wait to check it out in Barcelona. <laughs> a lot in Spain. I was a little shocked at how many people drink alcohol in the mornings. I've been editing short videos for the last three or four hours and it's already 4 p.m. The thing is that I can do it until the very evening and I have some plans at nine but I really wanted to explore Barcelona with you a little bit more and I did plan to go somewhere today so let's um, change the clothes and go to visit something. Actually, in the beginning, I plan to go up to the mountain of Barcelona to Cividabo to enjoy the view of the city and also spend some time there. But I found out that I don't have much time because first of all, I was working until quite late. Then I went out. I realized that I forgot my microphone, so I returned back to the home. Then I went out again. I realized that I forgot to wear my contacts, so I returned back home to the second time. And when I went outside, it's already later than 5 p.m and um, it will take more than an hour to go up there so and at nine i have i was invited for a live stream so i don't want to be late that's why i decided to walk right now next to the sea and also go to one museum that i was recommended to visit And the museum that I came to is a marine museum about boats of Spain. It's actually very impressive and I will tell you honestly, I didn't have any expectations because I'm not a fan of boats, like I never was interested in it. However, we all watched Titanic and I was thinking why not and especially my friends uh, visited it and really liked it. So let me just share with you this amazing vibe and can you hear music? There is actually I think they're gonna be an event. Thank you. 
is very interesting and it's definitely exceeded my expectations but unfortunately it's one hour and 45 minutes left before live stream so I really need to go I, I think I walk all around it I didn't read all the details here and it still was interesting so I'll definitely recommend and let's go to have a quick dinner and go to have a live stream with Alex man comes to me yeah. and I was 14 years old and start talking to me and he touched me like this he was super friendly nothing sexual like not yeah. that vibe he was just friendly and yeah, I'm cool. from Russia but so not used to that, yeah. that I was thinking he stole my phone. The first thing I did. Yeah. <laughs> the most important, you should know that people around you, they believe in you. If even mm -hmm. nobody believes in you, believe in yourself. I believe in you. I'm sure about this. And Thank uh, you so much. It's really nice of you. First of all, thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. There was some raw material, which is a bit unusual for my channel. But I hope you enjoy it when like, it's more real, let's say so. And I also hope that you got a better idea of my life. And the truth is that, yes, I travel a lot because I consider myself a travel journalist. And I want to show the world to people who are not able to travel at the moment to explore it themselves. I feel like this is my goal. and. I feel I do it, it's also quite well. Uh, but in between of this trail, so usually I travel for like three, four days, then uh, for two weeks, let's say, I just sit at home and I work almost every day. And it might sound crazy, but I even don't remember when I had a week off without the project work or without YouTube, both editing and filming. And I don't think I had this in the last few years. <laughs> Because when I travel, I film videos, uh, in between of it, I have lots of work to do, plus editing videos, which takes lots of time. I remember I took two, three, three, four, I remember four days off I took when I was just watching TV shows and resting. Uh, but that's maximum I took. So yeah, I work a lot. I also didn't show here how I work for teaching a Russian language because during these three days I didn't have classes. And also I didn't show how I edit videos for several projects. Usually there is one project one, once in two months approximately and it takes me a few days to do it. Uh, so yeah, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not crying over because I enjoy every single moment of it. I would trade it for nothing. It's really the life I always dream to have and I'm, I'm doing my best to keep up with that. Uh, but I definitely don't have rich parents. I don't have father. Uh, my mother is retired plus part-time English teacher. Um, so <laughs> obviously I don't have a sugar daddy and I'm not rich yet. Hopefully I will be in some years after working that much and it will be a bit easier. Anyways, it's just one month left for me in Spain. One month! One month, Carl! How is it possible? How two months passed so quickly? I'm ready to cry. I'm so ready to cry because I start already having nightmares. I'm not joking, literal nightmares already a few times that I needed to move out again with lots of stuff and going somewhere without a stable place. Like, I'm, I'm getting stressed, but hopefully Hopefully it will be okay in July, then in the end of July, beginning of August, I'm going to come back to Russia to see my family and then I'm going to start a brand new chapter of my life in a completely new country for me. But about this, I'm going to share in a few weeks. For now, my plan is to take the most of my time in Spain, to say yes to all the events, activities, but also to rest mentally. And hopefully it's going to be fun. And I'm going to see you next week. Bye bye, guys. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do it. And let's explore the world together, shall we? I'll be waiting for your comments. It's very long, I think, anyways. <laughs> bye bye. Comments and like, bye bye. <laughs>